So let's start with chapter 1. Chapter 1 is about basics of Unreal Engine. And in this chapter, we will learn how we can install Unreal Engine. We will learn about the Unreal Engine content drawer and how we can import external 3D models, mega scans from Quixel Bridge and Unreal Engine Marketplace. So without further ado, let's start. Oh my god, I'm in 3D! Up mazaika. Let's see how we can install Unreal Engine on our computers. So you need to go to unrealengine.com, but you must have an account there. If you do not have an account, you can sign up. And after logging in, you will see that there is a download button on top right corner. After clicking the download, you can go scroll down a bit and here you will see on the step one, open Epic Games Launcher. Why it is saying open Epic Games Launcher? Because I have already installed it. If you do not have an Epic Games Launcher, you must download it first, then install it. This is the first step to get Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine can be only installed through Epic Games Launcher. So I have already downloaded it and installed it. Now I can open it up from here, open launcher, and then it will prompt me this. I will just press open uh, games launcher. And once the games launcher is open, you will see again on the top right corner, there is a launch Unreal Engine button. Now, for me, it is saying launch Unreal Engine button because, uh, because I have already installed it. If you have not installed Unreal Engine, it will say install Unreal Engine 5.1 or whatever version is the latest one. Uh, once you have installed it, it will, uh, it will like usually it takes uh, around, for me, it took around one hour or two, like one to two hours because the file was around like 25 GBs. So that's how it uh, I, I installed it. And once uh, it is installed now, you can see the option says launch Unreal Engine. And I can click here to launch the Unreal Engine. And it will show me on my screen. It usually takes uh, a few minutes to load up because it initializes all uh, all the shaders and, uh, and it compiles all the shaders. And once it is loaded, it will give you a starter screen, just like what you can see on my screen here. So recent projects shows you all the recently created project. You can open directly from here. If you want to create a game, you can Go to the game option if you want to work on a cinematics or film video watch or what we will be using in this particular course so we will be using games also uh, we will be using the cinematics actually you can create cinematics through the game option as well architecture specifically for the architecture visualization then this is basically for the product design and manufacturing usually gives you uh like product rigging option as well then we have simulation uh, and virtual reality stuff here but we will stick to these two option but we are not going to create any game we will be working on cinematics but we will be creating cinematics through the games or film and video option if you have any issue you can scroll down uh, a bit and you can see this is uh, all the step by step a guide here on the Unreal Engine website, which will which will help you definitely to download and install Unreal Engine. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.